Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Tampa right next door to Museum of Science and Industry for this year's Bay Area Renaissance Festival. There are seven themed weekends. I am here for weekend five. This weekend's festivities is called Shamrocks and Shenanigans. Now this is one of my favorite because I am part Irish and I like all of the kilts and all the Irish foods and Irish music, things like that. So I'm going to show you around. I've never filmed here. I've come here regularly throughout the years. I'm looking forward to it this year because of the coronavirus. Most everything else is closed down, but the Bay Area Renaissance Festival is still on. DD had made some uh, improvements for safety reasons. There are hand wash stations more around the park as well as hand sanitizing stations. They are advising people to make sure they are not touching their faces and washing their hands regularly. Stay away from people that are coughing and sneezing, things like that. So if you're sick, don't go to stuff like this. Don't ruin it for everybody else. I'm gonna go inside and check this place out right now. From a week ago, uh, I'm arriving here. Uh, my, my beautiful wife will be here soon. Uh, we just got married and we're oh, celebrating oh, our yes, love here yes, in your yes, yes, we got the mission. Make him look like a honey! Yes, 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 yes. What kind of festivities do you have for uh, me and my, my my now wife? Yes, of oh, course. Yeah, go ahead. Well, we have jousting. We have food. Uh, and I love food. 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 It shows. We also have mashed potato eating contest. A yes. mashed potato oh, eating contest. As, as well as mermaids. A live, live mermaids. A live mermaids are important. Mermaids versus the dead ones. We don't like the dead ones. <laughs> As well as yes, a costume, costume contest, and we have pubs for drinking. Yes. 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 He will not be doing this. Uh, yes, we have a yes. and, and we have the now infamous men in kilts competition. Thank <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yes. for Her Majesty. I know how much she likes it. Yes, yes, we will have it. I will talk with her when uh, she does <laughs> arrive. Yes, about that contest. Yes, of course. Ah, uh, so there seems to be a lot of contests and stuff like that, but um. Who is this? Is he your young Harold here? Yes, yes, yes. I, I am the mayor of this town. In fact, I am Seamus <laughs> O'Connell. Yes. You are the mayor. Yes. 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 Isn't it yes. hilarious? Yes. 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 They said they were going to make him the mayor. I said, why the hell not? Yes. 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 Oh, excellent. Well, excellent. Well, excellent. Killing well, off the mayor. I like that yes. yes. big boy pants on. It's quite yes. nice. I like wearing the big boy pants. And this is my grandfather. Oh, yes, good sir. Yes, I'm very familiar with you, good sir. Yes, of course. This one, the useless one. No, she is, no. She is, <laughs> Lord Mayor, she is a Fitzwalter. I am very familiar with her father. Oh, oh. He has served me very well, sir, in battle. Hi. Have you served me in battle, yes, sir? Don't you bow. Your father is very respected. Remember you put what your position is. Deep breath. Deep breath. Count the five. Puppies, Puppies, gold, yes, yes, gold very yeah. jousting people, knocking them off their horse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh. All right, back, back to you. Uh, is there any more festivities? There are, Your Majesty, but I have a wonderful idea. She keep me so naughty and so useless. Perhaps you should wet it. Oh, King's Tournament. Yeah, oh, King's that Tournament. That sounds 
most wondrous. Well, what time do you want to have this turn? At twelve fifteen. No. What? No. Oh, twelve fifteen does not. I, I, I just. I, it, the nap time. At twelve. At twelve thirty. King's nap time. I, I cannot. But. What? But. Uh, yes. Yes. Of course. And um, for my wife will be available. I will. I will make sure that it will become the Queen's turn. Oh, the Queen's turn. Yes. Of course. Of course. Even better. Yes. And of course, since this is, you know, our, you know, our wedding. Not day, but our wedding honeymoon. honeymoon. Yes, of course. It's our wedding. I shall provide a boon to the winner of this tournament. Ooh, a boon! So, so at twelve fifteen, the Queen's tournament. Yes, at the chess field at twelve fifteen, right after the parade. Right after the parade. Yes. Well, we've established all that. Yes, Your Majesty, I just have one very small problem. I hate small problems. I'm going to put right next there. In front of mine. That is the small problem, but what else would be another problem? The small problem is, Your Majesty, that all these wondrous things are inside, and we are still all out here. Yeah, I see. Oh. Oh, 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 I have a most grand idea. Devereaux, uh, wait. Make sure each and every man here has a weapon. We will lay siege to the city today. Deep breaths. As much fun as it might be to lay siege to this town. <laughs> as much money as we're going to lose when we have to send back the premiership. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, of course. Why don't we just say, throw wide the gates exactly. and let the festival begin? Yes! Okay, you can see the map. There's quite a bit to do. We're out here in the woods. So there's shade around. You can try and see as many shoes as possible, provided I can film them. Alright, so I just picked up my Bay Area Renaissance Festival hat for $18. That way my head doesn't burn. I'm all set for that. Now, all along the fairgrounds, there'll be booths selling different wares, lots of various food offered throughout. There are several different stages featuring entertainment. Of course, you have adult beverages as well as soft drinks and water. The Pirates Galley. This is their food offerings that they have. Their food vendor. Food you have here. It's like all barbecue. This is where all the barbecue is cooked on site. Awesome. Look at all of that. Now we got some chicken, we got some buns, got some ribs. Woo! Yeah, it smells fantastic. All right, so this is the barbecue that I showed you. That's my pulled pork sandwich. I'm gonna put some sauce in this and munch down on it. All right, 
came over to one of the little tables. It got some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce on it. So, I'm gonna take a bite. All right, this is fantastic. Nice smoky flavor. Very, very, very good. All right, next door is even more food options. Yeah, they got quesadillas, other hot sandwiches, Jousta burger, and of course uh, the all-important turkey drumsticks. And they do have rides for kids. Now these aren't going to be carnival-style rides. They got Buccaneer bungee bounce, got knife throwing and star throwing, as well as axe throwing a little further over. A little bit harder than it looks, especially if you're not something used to doing. Don't expect running water and flushable toilets, because this is a Renaissance festival. They didn't have those back in those days. Got the privies. At least these are a little bit nicer. Portalettes. Now there is a pedal sink that has water, and you can wash your hands. Very important to keep your hands clean, especially what. The situation going on with the coronavirus. This is the tournament field where they have jousting. Most activities happen in the afternoon. The festivities started at 10 a.m., close at 6. So the first actual jail starts at 1. All right, I just rectified a very stupid mistake I made. I am heading back in. I had to leave and go to my bank to get cash out. Wasn't even thinking before I got here that they don't take cards. It's basically cash. And my wallet was empty with cash. So rather than using their standalone ATMs that I don't trust because uh, there's so many issues can go wrong, I decided to go down the road to my actual bank and go to the ATM and get cash out. So. I'm heading back in. I did get a hand stamp, so I don't have to worry about paying to get back in again. Uh, Pricing-wise, I said, I said I mentioned this earlier, uh, was $20 plus a $2 fee. Uh, that don't believe that included tax, but it's not terribly expensive to get here. These are the ATM machines I just mentioned. Yeah, the only place that they do take cards is right here in the front. These are some of their special events that are additional price in addition to your entry ticket. This is the main entrance. All right, going to meet Lily the Unicorn. Information on the miniature horses that are used as the unicorns. Is Lily the unicorn? This is Lily the big sister. <laughs> she is our veteran therapy unicorn. She's been here for five years. Oh. And this year, for the first time, we have her little brother Scrooge. Oh, awesome. <laughs> she's making a lot of new friends. So, how old is Lily? Lily, in the unicorn year, she's, I think, 1,100, so that's about 11 years old. Okay. And the spirit, he's 900. And unicorn years. Gotcha. They live forever. So. Oh, this is Ray's little brother's go. spirit. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to continue our loop around. Now, as far as uh, vendors go, I will not be filming inside vendor shops because these are all independently owned and they take great pride in their products that they sell. They're doing Piper's Valley. You see shamrocks and shenanigans. More food. There's food all over this place. You will definitely not go hungry, but make sure you bring cash. You also have beverages. Usually the larger food areas, they do have tables and benches to sit on. Several of the stages have multiple different acts throughout the day, such as the cottage stage, another tent with beer, actually on tap here. 
Now one of the fun things about Renaissance festivals is dressing up. I don't personally have any clothing that I could use to dress up, but they sell everything you would need at the festivals. Some people go all out to the point where you can't tell the difference between an actual uh, festival actor and the general public. Right, I did ask one of the vendors here. This is them right here. Because this is their walking staff or walking sticks. Our very own uh, non very colorful organization. Uh, that's called the World Some of them have Raptor very decorative tops to them. Various uh, in nutshell, sizes and prices. Uh, the Wahlberg's Eagle the bear, the bear, right? Mermaid Cove. Thanks. This is Mermaid Cove. All right, we're gonna go to the back of the mermaids. See the mermaids. We see the merman out in the front. This is a mermaid. Ooh, all paintings. Real wonders of the deep. This is really nice. Can we get their picture taken with the mermaid? We got wood fired pizza. They might get me a slice. Real wood fired. Oh, it looks good. All right, so they got me a slice, six dollars. All right, they got children's realm. Got play sets, sandbox. And of course they have swings. This treasure Cove is a pirate ship. It's like the big pirate ships you would see at the theme parks, but this is all human run. And they got the petting zoo. They have feed cups here for the animals. We got a llama. And all the pygmy goats. Got the baby goats too. Got a donkey. And this is Smokey, the donkey. It's a mini donkey. Hi. It's another mini donkey. Hi, baby. How you doing? I don't have any food. I'm sorry. I can get some. Another miniature donkey. This is a zebu. Oh, they got Robin Hood's bow blast. So the arrows are soft tipped. The kids wear protective gear. So they don't get hit in the eye and face. It's the wood show. This is the mud show here. Alright, so I've moved back towards the main entrance, anticipating the parade that starts at 12. They come from this direction. Alright, parade is starting.
I'm gonna follow them. This guy, the puppets. Some of the things they have going on today. A King's Landing Tavern featuring Pig and Swig. Got the Wildwood stage. All right, so once I came back over the bridge, this is to the left of the main entrance or I'm um, aiming at the main entrance. So I took the path to the left as coming in. This is the food stand. You got hair braiding. You do have a climbing tower. So it's a $5 up charge. You are attached to a harness as you climb to the top. Right next to the climbing tower is another privy location. <laughs> with hand wash location. This is one of many hand sanitizer stations throughout the property. Another one of the games that got shattered a platter. Get three for two dollars. <laughs> got darts. Uh, and archery. This is real archery, not like the soft arrow tips that were at the other booth I showed you. But you're shooting the actual arrows, trying to get it to stick in the targets. This is the pricing for the soda and water. Since I'm not a beer drinker or alcohol, I'm getting another soda. All right, that's the gypsy stage. Uh, the bigger chest over there. I will not go in the Big chest over there. Oh, it's Taya. You want that? Woo! Uh-oh. Here's a... Was it King here again last night? He's wild. Yeah, but you're going to go back to the music. He's going to sit too. I guess we all know... All right, they got the amazing maze. This is nice. Let's go through the maze. It's $2 entry fee. I'm sure it'll be more fun for the kids because you can't see over the top. Oh, we got camel selfies. What's that, you may ask? The uh, Dremel camels? Pardon? Dremel camels? Dromedary and Bactrian. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't see the other hump. Okay. He's younger, so they haven't gone all the way up Oh, okay. So they have the two different types of camels here. Also got elephant rides for ten dollars. There's Essex. New York. All right, I'm here at the Legend you stage. You don't miss that part. That's right. Bring that guy with you. Just leave.
All right, people, my buddy, Patty O'Shaughnessy, he walks into a pub, a pub he's never been in, which is difficult for Patty to find. He goes strolling up to the bar. The barkeep comes walking over. Patty says, I'd like three pints, please. The barkeep kind of looks at him. Patty says, no, he says, it's not what you're thinking. He says, it's just that myself and my brothers, we're separated right now. And when we're separated like that, we pour a dram for each of us and we drink to each other's health. And the barkeep says, well, all right. So that goes on day after day, week after week, month after month. Paddy's coming into the same pub, getting the same three dram. He really comes walking in one day. He's strolling up to the bar. The bar keeps already smiling at him, pouring the first dram. Paddy says, I'd like two pints today, please. The bar keep looks at him. He sets up the two pints. He steps in the back room. He comes back a few minutes later and he says, Paddy, listen, he says, me and the boys in the back, we's talking. We don't mean no disrespect or nothing. But can you tell us which one of your brothers has passed on? Patty says, no, my brothers are fine. I just give up drinking. There you have it, all right, good for you. Good for you, you're in the right place. All right, people, are you ready for danger? Are you ready for dead sexy Spanish man? All right, then without further ado, without further ado, my good people, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, a man that you have known and loved for 20 years. And believe me when I say that during that 20 year period, he's tried to love as many of you as possible. He's back, better, old, better. So let's give it up people. Put your hearts, your hands, and your voices together for the one, the only, Mr. Manolete. Hola. Do you see what I'm talking about? Mediamente, it cannot be helped. In this moment, I simply am sexy. Ooh. I know, it's, it's kind of a ridiculous... Oh, I just lost my Spanish accent, didn't I? Wait, you're not going to believe this. Watch this. It's just me. Wow. Crazy, right? Kind of a master of disguise. This is a lot more fun when you're wearing a dress, though. All right, people, I must warn you all, though, at this point, because from this point forward in this show, and not just for myself, this show is about to become more and more and more dangerous. Right now, we're going to start by just warming up with the two ballers. I was supposed to save that for the 345 show, but what the heck. All right, but even though I'm just going to be warming up with the two ballers, I feel I should caution you. If there's anyone here, yes, little kids, come right down here in the splash zone. Good for you. That also means something different at the 345 show. Because if during this next exercise, should either of these balls hit anything upon the floor or a crack in the floor, it could change the trajects, the way they're going around. <laughs> it's entirely possible that it will appear that I'm wearing a blood pack on my head. I'm not. But I'll tell you right now that about once a year, I do indeed explode my head for my audience. <laughs> for my audience. You're welcome, Jesus, I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right, a wee bit of danger then. <laughs> what are you clapping for, sir? Stop it. <laughs> Jesus. That was crap I do. That wasn't even dangerous yet. None of these other people were making a sound. They were just feeling embarrassed for you. <laughs> will you have some real danger now? I said, will you have it? Yeah! Even if I might hurt myself? Yeah! <laughs> Damn Americans. <laughs> All right then, but I must warn you, if I survive these next few moments, one of you is coming to this stage for the real danger in this show. So, all right then, here we go. What? 
this. Ooh, behind the bat. Ooh, buddy. And I wrapped them perfectly. All right, people. I'm going to come among you right now. And I'm going to find that one who in the eyes reminds me of my true sweet love, my dear Colleen. But first, in honor of that lady right there, I'm going to tell you guys a bland joke. But don't worry, love, it's equal time. It's a bland guy joke. All right. Oh, wait, before we do that, though, can anybody tell me? Get people in the road, come on and join us. You're going to have a grand time. You don't want to miss the rest of this. Yes, indeed. All right. Can anybody tell me, if you know the answer to this, please just scream it out, all right? Can anybody tell me at this moment in history, how many bland jokes are there? Just scream out the answer if you think you know it. No? What? Not enough. Not enough. Well, that might be true, sir. Because actually, in actuality, there's only two. All the rest are true. All right, people. Equal time, bland guy joke. All right. So there's three guys sitting on the I-beam of a building, building the building. There's a Spanish guy, an Irish guy, and a bland guy. Apparently it doesn't matter where bland people are from, whatever. So it comes to lunchtime, they open their lunch satchels. The Spanish guy looks in, he got paella. He says, I paella. Every day she make it for me the paella. I ate paella. The Irish guy looks in, he got cabbage and potatoes. He says, ah, oh, cabbage and potatoes. Another day, cabbage and potatoes. I hate cabbage and potatoes. The blonde guy looks in, he got baloney. He says, ah, baloney, baloney, one more day with baloney, I hate baloney. That's what all blonde people sound like when they talk, by the way, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, second day lunchtime, they open their satchels. The Spanish guy got paella. He says, my friend, that's it. She put a paella in the satchel one more day. I am throwing myself from this building, killing myself. The Irish guy looks in, he got cabbage and potatoes. He says, my friend, I'm with you. One more day, she's putting cabbage and potatoes in that sal salad, in that thing. And I'm going to throw myself in this building, killing myself with you. The blonde guy looks in, he got baloney. He agrees to join his friends in death. Should there be baloney in that satchel one more day? That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Third day, lunchtime, they open their satchels. The Spanish guy got by here. He dives from the building, landing right on his head. One dead Spanish guy. The Irish guy looks in, he got cabbage and potatoes. He dies following his friend landing right atop him. Spanish Irish sandwich. The blonde guy looks in, he got bologna. He joins his friends in death and now we're at the wake. And the three wives are sitting there. And the Spanish lady saying, my God, I thought my husband loved my paella. Never would I have made for him paella every day if I did not think he loved my paella. And the Irish lady saying, yes, and my dear husband, I thought he loved my cabbage and potatoes and now I've driven my poor dear husband to his death. And they look to the blonde guy's wife and she says, don't look at me, he packed his own lunch. <laughs> Good for you, Pete. All right, all right. So, Dad, you're going to stand right over here. Come on. Right, right, right there, Dad. All right, right there. Just like that. One, one tiny step back. Tiny, 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 tiny. All right. Oh, that's it. Now, don't move those feet again from this moment. That's going to become very important. All right, people, I must tell you at this juncture that what you're about to witness, all right, is a stunt. It's not a trick. The difference being that a trick is something where you're led to believe something's about to happen, but in actuality, it's not. Whereas a stunt is the real deal. And for that reason, I can say with supreme confidence that our new dear good friend, Mr. Dan. Good memory, Dan, <laughs> is about to find himself in grave mortal peril. Woo! I said grave mortal peril. Yeah. Right. Woo! See how much they love you? <laughs> All right, Dan, you're a big one, aren't you? All right. All right, get in. Warm up a bit. All right, good. All right. Re repeat after me. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Are you Italian? No. Why are you using your hands? Ha! 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 Do this. Whoosh. 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 Can you crouch a bit more? That's good, alright. Jedi! 
Jedi. <laughs> Just make up a sound. Jedi. Jedi. Who's a car? Who's a car? Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. <laughs> I think we'll go with that. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Dabby Doo. Scooby Dabby Doo. Damn, Jesus. <laughs> you saw that, right? It started slipping inside. You saw that, right? It started coming right inside. It got kind of close, actually. Jesus. All right, John. Jesus. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, ah, 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 can you bend forward from the waist for us? Can you probably get the idea of what's going on, right, Dan? And you're a big guy, can you bend a wee bit more? You see, we're trying to get that as far away from that as possible. Okay, can you stop dropping your chin? You got a wee bit of an overbite problem. All right, you want to see me put that feather in there and knock it out with a dangerous implement? Woo! Will you have it? Yeah! All right, then I'll give you the choice. Would you rather see this one? Or this one? This one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. <laughs> this one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Ah, oh, Dan, they always like the little dinky yellow one. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't worry, my friend. I'm certain that you've got plenty of wonderful memories to this moment in your life. All right, you can relax a moment. All right, now, people. Many people seem to think that the best way to leave this place for the last time is at a very old age, perhaps lying in bed, maybe sleeping. I think it's vastly overrated. I think the best way to leave this place for the last time is in front of a group of people who love you. Do you love this man? Yes! Doing something of vast importance. Oh, put him out, Danny. Dress nicely. All right, Dan, assume the position. Way to go, Really, nobody got that except that one woman back there? All right, never mind. All right. Jesus. Strange energy day. All right, right there, sir. All right. Please do not move nothing. This is the moment of truth. Father. Say! Touch. All right, Dan, this is very dangerous and very frightening. Would you like a blindfold? You don't want a blindfold? He doesn't want a blindfold? That makes me happy for two reasons. Number one, that tells me that your Danny boy up here is not a wimp. And number two, to tell you all the truth, I am scared to death. This is the only one I got. All right, Dan, can you reach over and touch that drum with that stick? Can you keep touching it, Dan, just enough so I can hear it? Yeah, okay, now don't have to be fast or nothing, just, just touch it so I can hear it. Keep touching it till I tell you to stop touching it until you're unconscious. Okay, from this moment, okay, right there, Dan, do not move nothing. From this moment, you can move nothing with your head, nothing with your body, do not bubble the cork in your mouth, do not move up, down, back, front, right, left, but keep touching the damn drum. All right, now you must allow me to concentrate, because when the feather gets very small like this, if I get the least bit off on the rhythm, this could be very dangerous for me. <laughs> Some of you are going to think about that one on the car ride home and just start laughing. All right, following this feather moment will be the final moments of this show, which will include calmly joking and tipping. Well, I guess what I should say is, if I hit the little feather, the final moments of this show will include calmly joking and tipping. If I hit something besides the little feather, the final moments of this show will be quickly running and driving. All right, we're going to practice one time. On the fourth count, you all scream, ole. One, two, three. Ole! I said scream it. One, two, three. Ole! All right, here we go. One, two, three. Ole! Nothing? One, two, three. Ole! Aye, aye. All right, good for you, sir. Can we have a grand cheer, people? Come on, look what we just did up here. All right. All right, a grand cheer for Daniel. Good job, Dan. All right.
got another cheer for Daniel, please, people. You can sit down, sir. You got another speech, are you? All right, good for you. All right, people, I'll tell you what's going to happen now. I'm going to give you guys one last terribly off-color joke. Will you have it? Yeah! I said, would you have it? Yeah! All right, and then I'm going to leave you with the final words that I always leave my audiences with. And then I'll be standing in that roadway over there with this stupid thing on my head. Now, if, you, if I've wowed you, if I've made you laugh, please step over, say hello, and tip the scales. And for just, just to be serious for a moment, folks, we have no idea what's going to happen this week. But both Disney and Bush Gardens are closing down as of tomorrow. I think there's very little chance they're going to allow us to remain open for the last two weekends. And yet all the main stage shows that you see out here, this is how we make our livings. So think about it this way when you approach the tip line after a show. You walk into a restaurant, right? You sit down, somebody walks over with a hamburger on a, on a plate, drops it on your table. You're gonna give him a dollar just for doing that, right? Then you should. If it's a filet mignon, maybe give him a five or a 10 just for that. Well, for roughly the last 30 minutes, I've been sharing with each and every one of you things that's taken me my lifetime to perfect, including making you laugh. You decide if I'm hamburger or just a guy who looks like a flaming minion. <laughs> All right, people. Final terribly off-color joke of the show. My buddy Paddy O'Shaughnessy, he walks into a church, piss drunk, piss drunk he was. He staggers over to the confessional. He opens the door. He steps inside. He closes the door. The priest is on the other side of the wall waiting for Paddy to start his confession. Nothing. So the priest knocks on the wall. Still nothing. So the priest knocks a second time. Well, by this point, the priest is starting to get pissed himself, and I don't mean drunk this time, kids. So he decides to knock on the wall a third time, quite a bit louder. Paddy says, you can stop your knocking. There's no paper on this side of you. <laughs> Takes a moment to roll in there. Now, but once you get it, you know it's a real shite joke. All right, good for you. People, last thing I want to say, all right, this show's changed a lot in the last 20 years. But the one thing that's never changed is what I say before I release you, and that's this. We are all from many places this day, perhaps from all over the world. When we live from our passions and speak from the heart, we are all the same thing. So on this day of all days, in this place, which is as good as anywhere else, live from your passions, speak from your hearts, and we are indeed all family. God bless.
Cannonball blast. This is a centrifuge here. The strap down this thing spins. Usually it's whatever way you lean, it's gonna spin. Now we got the washing well stage. Now, um, first things first, uh, you all know my, my cousin and I, we do laundry for a living, right? Yeah. Right you know what? Like maybe 20 of you knew. Good. The bag did not. We should go ahead and send out a sample. I got a work. sample. Thank you, cousin. We are now going to send out a sample to someone in the audience who looks honest. Well, <laughs> not the people with the tiny no. hats. How about somebody in the audience who isn't too drunk? Oh, well, it is 1.30 here in Tampa. Woo! All right. On St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day. Um, how about somebody in the audience who happens to be our laundry inspector? <gasps> He's here. He's here today, guys. He's sitting about one, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven rows back on my cousin's side. Ooh. And he's got like, the color of passion. Red. Color of passion, red shirt. And, oh, yeah. And he's looking down. Yeah, that's him. Put up my laundry. As you can see, you can buy all sorts of different uh, costumes and wear to different Renaissance festivals. This is what most people do, or order stuff online, or even make their own. Now we got the Wheel of Death.
what's going on at the seahorse stage. The seahorse stage. All right, now because of the number of shows that are going on throughout the day, I'm not able to catch all of them. I am trying to show you the main ones as far as the jousting and the human chess, as well as a couple of the other uh, snippets of the smaller shows. Uh, all shows are filmed with permission. If you're gonna be at a place like this, ask for permission. Don't just go up and just start filming without even asking. You got King's Climb. I will be ridiculous after you. All day long. Yeah. We're at the front, they got the Maypole. Uh, also, a little friendly word of advice, if you do come to a Ren Fair in your area, it's most likely going to be similar to this, where the ground is dirt or covered with even mulch like it is here. Don't wear good clothes, good shoes, especially white I don't recommend because it's very hard to stay clean. Just walking around, the stuff gets kicked up. So like my legs are black, my white socks are black. Just a little friendly word of advice. Dress comfortably, but don't wear like your best outfit. All right, I'm here at the Human Combat Chess Match and Tournament of Arms. The tournament was at 12.15, which I missed. I'll be staying to check out the chess match that starts at 3.30. We are here to witness our Human Combat Chess Show, yes? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 He's in the privy! Very well then, Black Side! Very well then, Black Side! Bring it on, Side! Black Side! Two's already! The king was in the privy. I guess I shouldn't have said that for my side. Pollock, take a knee, please! Pollock, take a knee! it's customary for the white side to go first. I hand the board to you for your move. Danger! Yeah. Uh, 
did you want it? You asked for this evening! I asked for honor, sir! So I say again, say your last words carefully! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! The tortures I have in mind for you in the tower will make your worst nightmares look like pleasant dreams. <coughs> Madness! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Very bad, Baroness Blackie! If I may be so bold to request an enormous boon of you. And what would this be, Baroness? Well, Your Majesty, seeing the Darius All right, so I'm heading back up towards the front of the Bay Area Renaissance Festival. I'm very thankful they were open, mainly because of all the other stuff being closed because of the virus threat. So thank you for the Bay Area Renaissance Festival. I had a fantastic Woo! time. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everybody just sees the camera and they're like, yeah. uh, They did a really good job of having hand wash stations and hand sanitizer throughout to keep people safe. Out of money. Uh, so, as I said, I had a fantastic time. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked what you saw. So, thank you for the subscribe if you haven't already done so. Anyway, and I will uh, see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.